Welcome back, terrestrials. Uh, before we get started, thank you for all the likes and subscribes and uh, the few shares that we get. We appreciate it. Uh, remember, it costs you nothing, means everything to us. So give us a follow. Um, hopping in tonight's, into tonight's movie, uh, we're doing The New York Ripper. Right. Uh, this is 1982 Lucio uh, Falci. Yeah, sure. Uh, Italian? Italian? Yeah, Italian. Um, uh, the budget, I couldn't find anywhere. Um, the box office, it was actually $1.13 million um, in U.S. dollars. Right. That's good because it probably costed nothing to make. Um, well, yeah. And... Of course, there's tons of nudity, and there's about eight kills. One really, yeah, yeah, somewhere in there, eight, yeah. seven, yeah, somewhere in there. Like that. So. so that's the video store totals. Poorly done by me. Uh, let's hop into it, Jerry. What do you grade this movie? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an A. I'm gonna give it an A. Okay, because I didn't know, like, I was like, this is really, really fucking, I, I like this movie a lot. Um, but is it, it, it's an A. Uh, I give it an A. What do you give it, Jacob? Um, I think, I think I'm going to give it like a, like a B plus. A B plus. Okay. Yeah. Um, because yeah, it's, it's wild. It's wild. It's, it's a wild, a movie. fucking wild movie. It is like. If you look up this movie underneath, it should be like the definition of like exploitation, sexploitation. Mm. It's and like Jalo and it, yeah, it's a, it's a Jalo. I would say a Jalo, uh, yeah, definitely. Sure. Um, yeah, but it just has yeah, like everything in it where you're just like, holy shit, what the fuck, you mm. know? <laughs> and like these kills in this movie are not weak there is no weak kill if we were choosing the best kill i would say all of them uh there is never one like moment where like they repeat every every kill in this movie is so unique and mm. and how it's done and the lighting and then fucking i'm watching this and the camera work is amazing where i'm i'm invested mm. like i'm i'm interested and then all of a sudden like they do like this M night Shyamalan fucking like twist of just like, who's the killer. And I'm sitting there like going, no, nah, I bet, I bet, I bet she's the killer. And I'm sitting there, I'm doing that through the, all of it. And then when someone dies, I'm like, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, is it the genius or something? You know? Yeah. <laughs> fucking, oh my God. <clears throat> oh my God. This is what I've been looking for. Fucking just like, like a, well, I think that the, the this movie did a hilarious job at keeping the red herring going for the killer because they didn't give you any information. You know, like yeah. they didn't put the option of the killer into the movie until halfway through the movie, right? And then they also didn't put the motivation for the killer until the last 10 the, minutes of the movie. The, yeah, the so it's like, end. yeah, I, it's like trying to complete a puzzle without a picture to look at. Right, like, right. You're just like, I guess technically, but then I then guess that's the how picture, they do twist like, in Italy. Yeah, you know? I don't know. Like, I Oh, mean, we're not going to, we're going to completely fake y'all motherfuckers out through the whole goddamn movie. And then right at the end, we're going to say, Oh, this is, this is it. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then we go, I, I knew really? I was in for a ride. Cause you know, I had to uh, I had to stop and rewind the very beginning of the movie when the old man's walking the dog. Oh yeah, and he's uh, and he leans down. And he goes, "Ah, my balls!" <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, "Wait, wait, wait! Did he just say my balls?" Yeah, and I ball. rewound it, and he was like, "Ah, my balls!" I was right. like, "What the fuck, dude?" All right, well, we're in for this shit. And then what he kept on yelling at the dog, fucking instead of get it, uh, mm -hmm. fucking just like, 
I don't know. I don't remember what I the can't fuck. Remember. It, it was probably but, like go find it or yeah, fe- something, something like that. But it was it felt completely out of place. Yeah, like you yeah, don't even yeah. say that to fucking dogs yeah, when they, yeah. they go get a stick, you know. Mm-hmm. Um and also like another thing one big thing that I really enjoy about this movie is they call it the New York uh Ripper. Mm-hmm. And it New York is a central character. Like this feels like New York. This is oh for sure. Very New Staten York. Staten Island Ferry, all everything. Right. Like, like it's not a New York Ripper and it's totally shot in fucking Toronto. It's not or... Jason Takes Manhattan. Right, like, where yeah. New York is like, look, it's there. If you mm-hmm. blink, you'll fucking miss it. No, right. it, New York is always, and like that just really was like, oh, great. And really like scummy New York, mm-hmm. uh, which I like. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was fantastic. Fucking yeah. exploitation at its finest. Yeah. Um, obviously the elephant, or should I say the duck in the room. Um, oh, yeah. the duck voice killer uh what what like it was so random that when i heard it i was like are yeah. you serious like this yeah. is this movie could have been so much more without that like this movie could have been an a plus movie this, like not no well because s exists um, right. it could have been like an a movie for me right uh but that just like i was like i can't i can't take that serious like they couldn't come up with like a, just a regular voice or a voice box or just somebody yeah. talking in a deeper tone something else to like make it, but it's, it felt very through not. the storyline of why he does that that yeah like, I, if they didn't I understand but again they end, don't give it, it to you like, for they yeah. don't give that to you until the last seven minutes of the fucking movie right, right. so then you're like oh okay now, until then it's just hilarious the right. entire time like what the fuck is with this duck voice and then the last <laughs> seven minutes you're like oh the girl he gave the girl a duck or yeah. something he like, was being silly and he just kept doing it kind yeah, of deal so yeah he was definitely being silly all right uh before i watched the movie like when we decided to do the new york ripper i was like i need to watch the trailer just to remind myself and i I said oh this is an italian movie i was already like okay this is a step down i'm I'm already notching it because any italian movie that we watched it's already like meh and then i heard the duck voice suspiria the we haven't watched the first one we haven't reviewed the first one. We did but that, Suspiria that's... versus Suspiria. We watched them both. Oh, well, yeah, then... yeah. I mean that, but we didn't review it. And... <laughs> but uh, Okay. All right. No, what I mean was like, uh, what was that? Phantasm or Phantom or whatever. That Phenomenon. Jennifer... Yeah, Phenomenon. It's actually a better movie than we gave credit for. Uh, we were just in our asshole era. And yeah. We 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 didn't give I, it a fair chance. I don't think. I don't th- yeah. It's I still a silly movie. But... It still is. But yeah, I think it's better than we gave it credit. But so I was already, and then I heard that duck voice, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be a fucking grind!" If like the whole time it's that fucking duck voice. Yeah. But when they were, when the movie was playing, it it did it didn't bring ominous like, "Oh my god, the duck voice is calling," and it kind of just gave like this like break, mm-hmm. real quick like. Uh, yeah, they didn't have the four cents of like, you know, scream to do like what they did, you know, but it does change the voice. And I think it all supposed to be like, uh, like Daisy Burke, I mean, David Berkowitz, mm-hmm. like the New York, uh, Summer Sam. yeah, Summer Sam kid, um, minus that he's killing all blondes and, he was only, uh david was only killing brunettes but yeah um but let's get into the sex because that's what sells in there this there is book. so much going on oh, i he... mean <clears throat> pretty much right away you get the fairy girl right she's in the beetle bug and she just starts talking to the guy and <clears throat> yeah and then eventually i'm gonna go through puberty she gets and caught right shit on a, the, yeah, the asshole yeah. the fucking uh the, yeah. the dick 
Fucking... But then the camera like pans down to her legs open, and then she like closes them. It's like right. unnecessary. Yeah, no, um, Mister, I'm not here to do that. And it's yeah. like, like fucking. But I'm not even like. Okay, first of all, you're like, talking about the actual live sex. Oh yeah, show live sex shows. In my brain, always when I'd be seeing those things, it was always like, oh, there'll be like a you know a strip club or mm-hmm. like that's what they mean. You know, yeah. th- th- not two people. Well, live on news the is different than live sex shows, right? But so, not just, just two. People. I've only ever seen like signs for live nudes right well i don't think strip clubs yeah live sex i mean apparently that shit's real i you know they didn't build a fake new york that had signs that said live sex so that was real they took full advantage of that and they were like look how weird new york is there's two people banging on a theater stage right and then there's a woman randomly rubbing one out in the fucking in the yeah audience essentially but I was expecting that. What I wasn't expecting was the guy in the second row asleep. Like, <laughs> like just like, or just people just sit. I mean, I'm not talking about like, this is like a theater full of just perverts. Right. It's like eight it's, people. It's like, yeah, there, there, there's a boyfriend and girlfriend sitting mm-hmm. there. They're, they're, it's like, they're there to watch like a Marvel movie or some mm-hmm. shit. And yet, you know, just two people just banging it out on stage and you know, Guys sleeping, boots, man. right? Uh, my brain was just like, Whoa. The guy sleeping is so insulting. Like, hey, bud, right. uh, not entertaining you? Like, right. what the fuck? Long day? Like, yeah. what are you doing? What are you it's talking 4 about? 4 p.m. at a fucking live sex show in New York. I, Why are I you not four dollars? I'm sleeping, fucking, yeah, I don't give yeah. a shit. Um, that's what you should do from now on. You should start that trend of like paying for concert tickets. And like symphony orchestras and then yeah, deliberately going and going to sleep yeah um but then that's like one of my favorite kills with the green and the red um yeah I, like i really Those enjoyed yeah. yeah i really enjoyed that kill um it, it's a simple kill and oh yeah he stabs it in the vagina stabs her in the vagina but yeah with a broken bottle yeah, but, but that just, but that red light, like green light, like the hallway's lit red, the room is lit green. Right. She's opening the door. She's like, you know, she's letting that light in. She's over, you know, that that brings the Jalo to it. Right. That's, that's very stereotypical of Jalo. Um, uh, so and the, yeah, the I the blood I took, on the floor because it's mm-hmm. green, it's black, and right, it's right, all exactly. over and it's and it was just like it looked like someone got murdered there. And I really enjoyed that. And they might have. It was just a sex worker. Yeah. I mean, but, oh, man. And then we go from there to, okay, so the lady who was recording just the audio of that show, mm-hmm. like, my brain went for a loop. Let me tell you. When she went to that fucking place with the fucking Puerto Ricans. That whole situation was confusing as fuck to me. And it like, no, what got me was like, dirty ass motherfucker. He took his, he took his shoes off. He's been wearing no socks. Loafer, bro. Yeah. Stank ass loafer. No socks. And just rubbing up on that shit. (laughs) Fucking like, what the fuck? But the funny part was like, he brought a hype man to the table with him. Right. Right. like he's golden toes Tony or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Like, why are you here? Like, what are you, what are you doing? He's like, oh, he's got the best toes in town. Like, yeah. why are you keep talking about homeboy's toes? Like, what the fuck is happening right now? Right. Clearly, she's there to have a an encounter. Right. <clears throat> She's clearly there to have an encounter. She's clearly there to, you know, meet somebody, whether it's doing anything at that location or possibly setting up for a location later. Right. But that whole situation was just awkward as shit. Like all of, number one, she pulled up in that Porsche looking as fly as she did. Yeah. All those dudes should have been hitting on her. Well, actually, okay. 
they should have been respecting her and leaving her the fuck alone. But in reality, they should have all been going after her. Yeah, and... But that's what she was there for. It was a brief right, encounter. Right, exactly. So, but and 80s. Yeah, to just so. come up and be like, yo, my boy, he finger bangs with toes really <laughs> well. Uh, you want you want him to rub on your snatch right quick? I know. Does we're he, gonna do buy you, you a he... beer and he's gonna finger bang you with his tootsies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink the beer and shit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking like yeah. but you know, does he like like do you wanna smell my toes, bro? It's like yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, I'm good. You yeah. mean, what they, happens fucking... afterwards? Like they just it's... go back to like that shit didn't happen. It is 80 fucking seven degrees outside. Your yeah. feet are a swamp in those yeah. goddamn fucking oh, yeah. leather shoes. Leather, yeah, leather loafers. No. Are no. loafers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, the, there's so many one-off bits in this movie that, and obviously it's not like a funny bit no but like there's so many one-off scenes in this movie that you're just like huh right like what what just happened and then oh my god the entire time that girl that gets attacked the the genius's girlfriend the entire time she's talking okay her dry ass fucking lips yeah. were killing me. I was like, nobody could splash some water on them yeah. until she yeah. could get through the scene. Like she had visibly destroyed lips. Yeah. And I was just like, really? They don't care about lips in like at all? Okay, all right. No, like you, you, you need a little, you need a little. Carmax or Claremax or whatever that shit's called, fucking just put a little chapstick on. Get the girl some chapstick or something. Yeah, so just but, dab some water on them real quick <laughs> to get through the scene for at least a couple minutes. Or like, don't, yeah, or don't show it in fucking close up. You yeah, know? don't zoom directly into the lips, right? Man, like God damn. Like the, the photographer was sitting there and being like, I can't. Does she even notice that her lips are that chapped? I'm okay. just keeping the camera on it and shit, you know? I have a question. Yeah. You've seen the 70s show, right? Yes. Okay. Was her boyfriend, Duckman, was he not Eric Foreman? <laughs> yeah. He okay, looked dressed. He dressed just like him. Acted just like him. Minus like the smart ass part. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he always had the turtleneck on. Or like the shirt, like the exact, like obviously the 70s show is made in the 70s or designed like the 70s, yeah. but that, but that guy looked like who Eric Foreman, they, like somebody saw New York Ripper and was like, I know what I want him to look like. Right. The right. same dumb haircut, the same like innocent skinny, but like even his mannerisms and the way he was talking, mm -hmm. I was just like, is this eric foreman right now like what the fuck yeah. is happening and i would have been here sooner if one of your cops didn't pull me over yeah yeah like listen here motherfucker we're out there yeah. trying to do yeah we're trying to shit. save your life you yeah. fucking asshole um then you talk about bits in this movie and the one that always got me was the one i forget what the detective asked his his hooker like go make me a oh, cup go, of coffee. Yeah, can you go give me a cup of coffee? Yeah, and she's like, I'm you a better hooker, call your not wife. your wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hooker, not your wife. And I was just like, you go, girl. You yeah, go. Hell yeah, yeah. Tell that motherfucker. Listen, you pay me to drop loads, not for me to pour coffee. Right. Oh, that would have been even better if that was the law. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I should just be a writer in Hollywood, honestly. Right. But right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a good. That was a good bit. But then the hooker, her death scene, that was like, that was violent and shit. Mm -hmm. Fucking where he's, cut, especially when it was up in the face and that yeah. I could tell. Oh, that, that looks... wasn't, that wasn't the hooker, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Kitty. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yeah. That's why he called. That's why he was on the phone so long so he could. And that's why the cop knew where to go to to okay. where the killer was yeah that was the hooker that died but okay, i thought that that was the hotel girl that got with the two finger or the three finger uh the missing two finger no died. she died well she died in the hotel um she was stabbed right. 
she was, oh that's right because she was leaving that's yeah right. okay. she 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 thought it was him she was tied yeah. to the bed she's trying yeah. to get out and yeah. and then she goes down one hallway and can't get out and then goes down another hallway can't get right, out and then right. finally goes down one and then uh the killers there the get yeah. stabbed because i yeah. for the longest time i thought she was the killer yeah i started so what i thought it was was her husband was the killer no. and they were working in tandem like scream type, type. Right. they were they were the killer right um but yeah that that scene where the hooker gets it uh yeah that was really good that was good special effects makeup like the puppetry or mm -hmm. not the puppetry but the latex of cutting down into the skin and the that, eyeball that all, yeah that all looked really good slicing through the nippy right like yeah it was all it was all really really well done wow. and that at that point is when i went okay there's some real shit in this like there's some real talent to this movie yes and i don't mean that like the actors weren't good they weren't the best, hmm. but I meant like somebody was making a really good film. Yes. They weren't just throwing shit at the screen and seeing what happened. Somebody okay. knew what was going on. And of course, this is a famous director of Italian films. I just, you know, I am not familiar with his work, so I didn't know what to expect. This is actually the first one of his that I can say that Pinpoint. I've seen. Yeah, right. that I, yeah. I mean, we've always said that, that like we are jalo, like we're really good with American horror. Yeah. But like the Italian jalo or the Japanese style horror movies right. that came out um, to the outside of America are, are we're lacking. And yeah. this proves it where it's like, oh, my gosh, I really had a good time watching this movie, mm -hmm. and I can't believe I have it's taken this long to finally find this movie, you know? That's been in my list for almost two years. All right. Um, I was in a horror chat, and somebody was like, this is one of my favorite movies, and I was like, mm -hmm. all right, dope, and I threw it in there. And I know I've mentioned it to you before. Mm -hmm. I think we actually started to watch it. Or one time I started to watch it and I was like, there's a weird masturbation scene. And we're talking about the theater scene. And I was like, right. I don't know if we want to do this. You want to skip to something else? All right. And you were like, yeah, fuck it. Let's... So, I mean, it's been there. It's almost gotten to review, but now we're yeah, here. I'm, I, yeah, I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad yeah. we did it. Was... And now it's just like, okay, yeah, there is a whole world out there of horror yeah. movies that need to be understood you know like everything can't yeah. be this uh the classic american style horror like right the nudity in this like if this was american directed it would be um kind of flaunt it for that tna this mm -hmm. almost felt like so much this is just natural over. nudity yeah and but it's just it's like overkill to the point where you're just like you know like uh you know like well, uh, so one of the things like when you see nudity in american horror movies you see it as like oh look at my tits oh, yeah i'm so hot the nudity in this movie is more or less like these are just people that happen to be naked right now right granted there's two people banging and one chick masturbate but it all felt more natural than nudity in american movies somehow <laughs> that extreme of right. a scene felt more relaxed and comfortable than seeing somebody naked in an american horror what right. this isn't technically an american horror but it's it's like the italian version like right if you right were to well tell i mean it, yeah it's in him, new york it's, like go make an american horror movie for 1982 you know yeah this is what it's like okay yeah sure i'll do that you know i still call this a 70s horror movie it feels 70 it's, it's very free like and there's like pre and post like eight and you can tell this is definitely pre so this feels more this of is the how 70s. aids came about is live yeah. sex shows um <laughs> but yeah it's like a gallagher fucking comedy show where everybody <laughs> yeah. in the front row has like <laughs> yeah. uh, the they all get come on and shit <laughs> <laughs> they all just get cummed on. Now you all have AIDS. Um, oh, welcome God. to New York. <laughs>